All right, in this example, we want to illustrate how to stake the bisector at an angle point uh, at a given offset. So pretty simple process. Let's take a look first in our job called Test Rick uh, at the data that we've got. And if we look at our 3D viewer, we'll see that we've got a line that runs from a point 10 to 11 to 12 to 13. So we want to stake the, uh, the average angle uh, out from point 11 at some uh, specified distance. In this case, it'll be 10 units, or we're setting our simulator currently for meters, so it'll be 10 meters out. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll move up to 12, and let's say that we wanted to stake the inside just to show that we can do this in either direction. So uh, let's, uh, without any further ado, and there's many ways that we could get here, but let's just go down to our stake to a line routine. We're already set up in this case with a total station, but this could be GNSS as well. And we're going to tell it that we want to stake to a line. Uh, there's other methods, but this is the one that we want at this point in time. We tell it OK. The line we're going to stake to is called line 0001. We may have other lines to pick from. In this particular job, it's the only one that we have. And we're going to take our heights from the line. Now, a couple of settings that we want to check before we go in here, or we could check in process and changes as well. But we might as well do it right up front is go to function and settings. And here, um, we, there's a lot of different things in terms of graphic and quality settings and everything else. The one we're concerned about is on our design tab. And what we want to do is we want to tell it that the points of interest that we want to make sure that we stake are at points of curve, points of tangency, or angle points. We're concerned in our case with the angle points. And we want to set the um, offset in an average direction from that angle point. So basically, it's the average direction from the line in and the line out. So basically, normal to that bisector, if you will. Um, if we were to pick the offset bisected point, that would be those two lines bisected, which would give us a longer offset than we really wanted for the stake location. So we're just going to make sure that we check first off on our design tab, uh, choose points of interest, horizontal, and offset in average direction. Once we've completed that, we're pretty happy. So we're going to go back out and just uh, tell it OK. And then we're going to leave this line selected. Now here, uh, to define the point of stake, we could give it any distance along the line. We could also set this to use stationing if we wish. I'm not using stationing in this case. We're just going to use distances along the line. The offset for the first one I want is 10 meters to the right. Uh, and the uh, right and left are defined in the direction that the line is created. So that segment is going from point 10 to 11, I believe, in that direction. So right would be to the right side of that line. So it's a positive value for the offset. If I wanted to stake to the left side of that, then it would be a minus 10, and it would go to the left side of the line that we're referring to. Also, I need to make sure that I check use stake increments so that I can use my stake plus and stake minus buttons to move along here. And I'm setting the increment at a ridiculously long value in this case, like a thousand meters. Because basically, I don't care about any points along that line. The only thing I care about are the points at the angle points. By putting a longer distance in, then it's going to stop me at each of the angle points, but nowhere else in between. So essentially, if I'm happy with these settings, we're going to set a 10 foot offset to that bisector. We're going to tell it OK. So we start off here right at the very beginning. And this orange target, which would be our stake target, is 10, 10 meters to the right uh, normal to that line from 10 to 11. But that's not what I want to stake. I want to stake off from point 11 at that average angle 10 meters off of there. So I'm going to press stake plus. That now gives me the normal. Um, at point 11 on the line to point 10 and 11. That's not what I want. So I touch stake plus once again, 
And now what this is doing is giving me a 10 meter offset at the angle point on the average directions between the line uh, from 10 to 11 and 11 till 12. So I would start taking distances and navigating myself to staking that point and then ultimately store that solution. So that's uh, basically how we get and navigate to the points that we need to stake. And if we just uh, zoom in here a little bit, you'll see that that's kind of just on the average of those directions where our target point is. Now, if I wanted to stake, in this case, we had told it a positive 10 for that offset, so it's staking to the right side of that line from point 10 to 11. Let's say at 12, we wanted to stake on the left side. Uh, not a problem, we just go back one, we change our offset value to a minus 10, and then press enter. And now, when we go back in, we'll see that our target is now displayed on the left side of there. We hit a stake plus, and that's taking us to the normal first on the line from 11 till 12. So it's at the angle point normal to the back site or the back line. If we hit stake plus again, this is the angle point on the average of those two directions. Let's once again zoom ourselves in here a little bit so we can see this better. Um, and we can see there that that is the location we want. This target point that we would uh, navigate to to set the stake is 10 meters from that location at 12 on the average direction between the line from 11 to 12 and 12 to 13. And then once we're happy with that, then we carry on. So hopefully that kind of explains the process. You may want to play with this a little bit. Uh, if you do have any questions, just uh, let us know. The key thing that we need to remember, though, is when we go into this routine, we want to go to Function, Settings, and make sure on the Design tab, we've got the proper settings, which in our example here would be to stop at the breakpoints in the horizontal alignment, and offset in the average direction, which will hold the offset that we've entered, in our case was 10 meters, and the average direction at that, um, uh, the vertex of those two lines. So um, once again, uh, that's kind of how we do it.